In this video, we are going to study about the IOD metry. Redox titration comprise of two different types of such titrations. मतलब वैसे तो they are of many types, but I am talking about the IOD metry and IODO metry. They are two different reactions जिसमें हमें confuse नहीं होना है, ठीक है? So IODO metry B we will be studying further, पर पहले let's see IOD metry. The determination that involve direct titration with iodine due to the oxidizing power of iodine in aqueous solution is called as iodimetry. This is the definition, मतलब the determination जिसमें क्या होता है direct titration with iodine due to the oxidizing power of it. मतलब oxidizing power है iodine में तो उसकी वजह से the direct titration करके हम जो जो determination करने वाले हैं in aqueous solution is the iodimetry. The principle behind iodimetry involve the solution of iodine are weak oxidizing agents that are used for the determination of strong oxidizing agents. Okay? Iodine itself works as a weak oxidizing agents and we will be using it for the determination of strong oxidizing agents where direct titration of iodine occur. The form solution is titrated against the arsenic trioxide. Okay? Now let's see the preparation of 0.05 molar iodine solution. Dissolve 14 gram iodine in 36 gram potassium iodide. Then add 100 ml water and 3 drops of HCl and volume will be made up up to the 100 ml. Sorry, 1000 ml. Okay. Now let's see the standardization of iodine solution. What will we do? We will take 0.15 gram of arsenic trioxide and we will be adding 20 ml of 1 molar sodium hydroxide. We will be heating it if necessary, otherwise we will leave it as it is. Then we will be diluting it with 40 ml water, that is the distilled water, and we will add 0.1 ml methyl orange, which is the indicator. Then we will be adding dilute hydrochloric acid drop-wise, jab tak the yellow color that is in the solution will be changed to pink. This is not the end point color change. Ye hamari reaction complete hone ke liye hame bata rahe. Thik hai? Further we will be adding 2 gram sodium bicarbonate and we will be diluting it with 50 ml distilled water again. Then we will be adding 3 ml starch and we will be titrating it with iodine solution until blue color is produced. Thik hai? disappeared not produced it will be disappeared ठीक है तो क्या होगा हमारा जो solution blue हो चुका है वो उसमें से blue color remove हो जाएगा जब हम starch add करते हैं starch solution तो हमारा solution blue color हो जाता है ठीक है पर जब titration का end point हमें मिलेगा तो वो जो blue color है it will be disappeared now the applications include it is used for the estimation of sodium hyposulfite so these are the principal procedure and application of iodimetry and in next video we will be studying about the iodometry.